Hey, what's going on guys? So this year, what are you doing for your certifications? What are you doing for your career? What are your goals? In this video, I wanna give you a few tips, kinda like last year, some study hacks and tips to get you going this year, to make this year your year. If 2017 wasn't it, no worries. Brush yourself off, let's go. 2018, this is it. So one of the first things I would do is hacking your mindset. Now what do I mean by that? I'll give you a hint. I'm hacking my mindset right now. So basically when I wake up in the morning, the best thing to get my day going, to get myself in the right mind frame for doing whatever I have to do that day is I run. It's my endorphins flowing, it's my focus sharp. Now that's just one example of what I do for routine, but like other, other ways is like when, before I study or before I create content, I have to like hack my mindset, get myself in the right frame of mind. If I come up with something like, if I come at studying with a bad mindset, like if I'm just in a bad mood, had a bad day, it's not gonna be efficient for me. So what I do is I take a second, just a few moments or, or maybe a few hours if that's what it takes, and do something I like or enjoy that just puts me in a better mood. Now I'm kind of stealing this from Gary Vee. So when I talk about mindset, I mean your, your kind of your worldview how you're viewing your life right now. Sometimes we don't have the perfect worldview about our life, right? I mean, we get really down about things, we get caught up in, in the, the minutia of life and uh, the everyday cycle and something bad might hit you, you might have a really bad day and you get kind of just in a negative thought process. Well, here's what I do. I get a cup of coffee, I sit down, and I just think about what I have. I think about my family, I think about being in IT and what a wonderful opportunity this is. I mean, start thinking about gratitude and just deploy gratitude in your life. Just be thankful for what you have. Do you know how lucky you are to even be watching YouTube right now, to be in a place where you can actually have internet, watch YouTube, and then you can change, you're changing your career right now. You can actually get your CCNA and change your whole, whole life. That's, that's awesome. The fact that you can pop open a book and study and change your life is incredible. So deploy gratitude, hack that mindset. Wait guys, you know what, hold on. I've, I've, got, I've got someone here and he's like really distracting, but no, here, here he is, here he is. <laughs> Come on guys, Keith Parker. Oh, that's so weird. You let it out the parts that I don't want to hear. <laughs> so, turn off the office light. Okay. okay. Let's start it over. Can you delete that? Oh, this is blackmail material. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm here at the house with uh, Network Chuck, and he asked me to talk with you for... <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the video. He asked me to chat about a few tips about starting in an IT career. Like, how do I get going with things like Network Plus or CCNT or CCNA route switch? And the first thing to do is remember that Rome isn't built in a day or wasn't built in a day. Start with where you are. Take what you have and where you're at and start from there. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step and that's absolutely true. And don't get overwhelmed, step by step, you can make progress. If you shoot for the moon and you get to the top of the trees, hey, you're at the top of the trees, baby. And that's a lot higher than most people get. So just take every day, go in the right direction. If stuff happens as it does, brush yourself off. You know, don't get out the beat up stick and hurt yourself. Just take the next day and continue making progress. Step by step, it's easy. I remember I used to work at Paramount Pictures back in 1994, 95-ish, Forrest Gump days. Um, I worked with some really great technicians. And about 10 years later, I heard from one of them and they contacted me on social media and said, hey, um, well, let's see here. It may have been more like 15 or 20 years later because social media was out. Anyway, he contacted me and said, hey, I need to get my CCNA. Uh, what should I study? How should I do it? I thought to myself, what have you been doing for the last you know, decade or two? If he'd just taken like every every week or month, just studied something and made continual progress and he could have been way ahead. So the fact that I've got a couple CCIEs, I've, I've gotten other certifications from uh, HP and uh, VMware and um, Microsoft and so forth, I didn't get those overnight. I, I spent a lot of time. My first CCIE, I spent about eight months. Uh, I spent, as I recall, about four hours a day, five days a week of my own time in studying and was able to pass the CCI in 2001 for the first time. And then I got my second CCI in security a couple years later. And <laughs> I didn't get that the first time. You know why? Because I thought, oh, I'm a CCI, I can just pass that. No worries, kicked my butt. So um, I had to go back to the drawing board, restudy, step by step. So I know what it feels like on both sides. I know what it feels like to win 
and I also know what it feels like to not win immediately. And so we can just treat the not winning immediately as stepping stones into getting where we need to be. I totally went over the time I was intending to. Hey, thanks Network Chef for letting me uh, be on your YouTube channel. For all of those of you who are pursuing a certification or pursuing getting better at anything, my hat's off to you. Good luck. Now this tip is for you guys who are waiting for that perfect course you, you can find. Like you want to buy a CBT nuggets, you want to buy INE. So you're, you're saving up money or maybe you're, you're just waiting to start your studies to get that just perf the perfect training materials. No, no. Here's what you're going to do and what you should do. Start today. Start today. You know how many online materials are free? You can find any CCNA training you want online for free, guys. Point is, you don't have to be fancy. Now, it's certainly easier to get your CCNA if you follow a structured course, right? I mean, yeah, that's easier. But you can do the same thing. Get the blueprint, you know, IP subnetting. Go find free uh, YouTube videos on how to IP subnet. Password recovery, you can look up YouTube videos on that. So do not waste your time. Start today. If you don't have the perfect training course, don't worry about it. It might come, it might not, but I know you can get your CCNA with free materials. I've seen it happen. If you can buy CBT Nuggets, buy it. Buy CBT Nuggets. It's amazing. It's the best training out there. But this is for those of you who just maybe can't right now. It's not in the cards for you. You don't have enough money. There are still ways to study for your CCNA. But if you can, get CBT Nuggets. Trust me. This one is something I didn't understand completely until I experienced it. How did I do this? How did I study before? And that's don't, don't study alone. Find community. Studying by yourself is rough. I mean, it really is, right? But when you study with community, you got people to bounce ideas off of. You got people to encourage you, keep you accountable. So what can you do? Well, we've got the Network Chuck CCNA study group. If you haven't already joined that, join it. We're over 5,000 members strong now. So get in there, post your questions. People are in there and they're asking questions or answering questions. It's amazing. You know, if you're, if you're at a job right now, get a study group together. Find some guys who are studying their CCNA. If you're subscribed to CBT Nuggets, they, they use Slack for an amazing learner channel. These guys are in there posting constantly, encouraging one another. It's, it's amazing. But people were meant to be around people and you need people to encourage you. So find somebody to help you out. Find a mentor, find someone. Now this one, please pay attention because this one saved me so much stress, I guess I would say. I got in the habit of trying to manage my time, like manage, like when I get home uh, from 6.30 to 7.30, I'm doing this. From 7.30 to 8.30, I'm doing this. Being like very strict and, 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 and doing time slots on my calendar. It worked for a while, but I, I burnt out. It, it didn't work out eventually uh, over time. So what I've learned from other, other uh, motivational guys I follow is manage your energy and not your time. So for example, when you're really, really tired, like you're falling asleep, and you're just, you can't keep your head out of your book, do you think that's the best time to study? Probably not, because you're tired, your brain isn't going to absorb the topics as easily as it normally does when you're really like in the right mindset. Remember, mindset, yeah. And I, I've been through times where I would stay up till one, two, three in the morning studying, but don't skimp on your sleep. That's another thing too. I mean, this is kind of the part of the manager energy. When you sleep, your, your brain, you know, re, re, regenerates. It, it, well, I don't know if it regenerates, but it heals itself and it's ready for the next day. I mean, I've gone through maintenance weekends, you know, working over the weekend, staying up late, doing stuff. And by Monday, I'm just like, I, I can't even think straight. I can barely drive home. That's like crazy, right? Well, your, your brain repairs itself overnight and it cements those things you learned the day before. Now, also with managing your energy, you want to do the most, the, the, the more difficult things first when you have your best energy. Cause like, you know, when you start your day, uh, some guys might be really tired, but like after I have my coffee, after when I start my day and I have my coffee, um, that's when I do my best work. So the most important things I have to do, I will do those first because that's my best energy. So if you can study uh, in the first part of your day or maybe the, the best part of your day with the most energy is when you get home at maybe after you work out and you like feel really like you're good to go, you're ready to fight. Um, that might be the best time to study. But what has never worked for me consistently is 
just bulldogging it, trying to bulldoze my way through a study session even though I feel exhausted. It, it just doesn't work out. You need a rest. You're, you're a human, you're a person. You, your body needs rest, your mind needs rest. So don't skimp on rest and schedule your study sessions around your best energy. Again, that could be morning, that could be night, that could be at lunch. Do not reserve your study time for the times you know you're going to be exhausted. So normally, again, when I was doing my study sessions, it was late at night and I just, I was exhausted. It wasn't gonna work. Now, this is something that drives my wife insane. And it's, this, is, this is what it is. The best way to learn something is to teach it. So what I'll do is when I learn a topic, I'll try to learn it the best I can and then I try to figure out how to explain it simply to my wife. Because you really, if you can't, I think Kevin Wallace has this all over his stuff and it's a quote from somebody else, but if you can't explain it simply, then you don't know it well enough. So I try to figure out a way to explain it simply and, and it reinforces my knowledge, helps me to really make sure I know it, it's incredible. So. Um, like with this YouTube channel, this was my original intent to help me with my, with my studies. I would learn something and then I'd make a video, uh, video about it. So if you're learning right now, spread the knowledge. Maybe you're in a study group and you, you, you guys could each take turns teaching each other. Uh, if you're in my Network Chuck Facebook study group, um, make a quick Facebook video, go live, teach a topic. It will reinforce those topics in your brain like you, like you didn't even know. It's awesome. So if you want to learn, teach. If you haven't already noticed, I'm in Vegas right now. I spent the whole week hanging out with the one and only Keith Barker, CCIE, CBT Nugget Trainer Extraordinaire. Uh, that guy's amazing, had the best time. I'll link his channel up here. You already know who he is. Come on, it's Keith Barker. And uh, CBT Nuggets, man, you gotta go look at his training, top notch. I got to see how he makes it, that was super fun. And I got to learn a lot of the tricks of the trade too, so that was amazing. Now I'm borrowing this one from last year, and it still stands today. Lab, lab, lab. Teaching will enforce the thoughts and the, and the processes in your mind. I always think about how, you know, like surgeons, when they go into surgery, um, how you know you got a surgeon that's been doing it for 30 years and they could they could go in and, and like do an appendectomy with their eyes closed because it's just muscle memory at that point that's what you want for your ccna you want to be able to go in there and, and and just subnet or or work with ospf or work with spanning tree you want to have that just be second nature practice practice a lab lab those concepts will slowly just form a little section in your brain those synapses will fire and suddenly it's just it's there and you know it, you know the topic. Now, how do you lab? Well, I made a video about what lab equipment you should use. You can go physical, or you could go virtual, which is what I recommend. Pack a tracer, the best way to do it right now if you're just starting out. You can get fancy with GNS3, GNS3 is fun. You will need GNS3 for your CCMP level stuff, but for CCNA, just starting out, go pack a tracer, no brainer. Well guys, 2018, it's gonna be awesome. I know you will get certified this year. Keep studying. 2018 is your year. Now, just a quick thing, what am I working on? Well, I mean, I'm working at CBT Nuggets, so that's incredible. What am I studying? I'm creating the CCMP collaboration course for CBT Nuggets, so I'm working on that. But I'm also working on my CCMP route switch. Just got one more test to finish that up, but I'm, I'm constantly studying, so I'm right here with you guys. And by the way, if you're working on your CCMP collaboration, I also started a Facebook study group for that, so jump in there, link below. And guys, if you haven't already, subscribe. And you know, that's about it. Catch you guys next time. Oh, and by the way, if you have some like study tips that you follow that I haven't already mentioned, mention below. Let us know. Start teaching us about your study tips.